And here is a review of your basic reactions of alkenes. The ones with red stars by them are ones for which you have to watch out for carbocation rearrangements. Um, all of these reactions start with the same starting material, but are reacted with different reagents to give different products. The first one is HBr, which adds bromine to the double bond. That will also work with HF, HCl, and HI. The second is the acid catalyzed addition of water, which will add hydroxide to the double bond. Also watch for a carbocation rearrangement. And the third for which you have to watch out for a carbocation rearrangement is the acid catalyzed addition of CH3OH. And just for a quick reminder of what a carbocation rearrangement might look like, here it is for the reaction of HBr. The first step is the double bond reaches out and grabs the hydrogen and kicks the lone pair to the bromine. The second step is the hydroxide shift, or hydride shift. And the third step is the bromine attacks the positive charge. Keep in mind if you don't, can't do a 1-2 hydride shift you, because there aren't any hydrogens there, also look out for 1-2 you know, methide shift or something with an alkyne, alkyl chain. Um, next reaction is Cl2 and CH2Cl2. That adds two chlorines to the double bond. Bromine behaves similarly in CH2Cl2. Um, the next is Br2 in water. That will add two things to the double bond, the second of which is hydroxide, and the hydroxide will add to the most substituted carbon in the double bond. This is the oxymercuration reduction. If the difference between these two reactions, and you may have to tilt your head a little bit, is in this one there's water and THF, and here you have methanol. Um, in both reactions, the oxygen and water and the oxygen and methanol are the two things that are acting as a nucleophile, so the, the, and they attach to the same place. With the methanol, it just drags the other carbon along with it before it's deprotonated. MCPBA um, will get you to there on epoxide. You can also use other epoxy, um, peroxy acids, but MCPBA is known and loved by chemists everywhere. BH3THF um, followed by HO minus, H2O2, and H2O. That, without getting into semantics, will add OH in an anti-Markovnikov fashion. It doesn't actually go anti-Mark because of the mechanism, but that's too complicated. Just think about it as going anti-Mark. Um, H2 with PDC or PTO2, that will cause a cis addition of hydrogen. Um, both of those hydrogens go to the same plane and the double bond on the same side. Uh, HBr Roar. Roar is a radical initiator. We'll talk more about those later. Um, but that's an anti Markovnikov addition of bromine. NBS Roar will add bromine allylically, or in other words, on the carbon next to the double bond or adjacent to the double bond. Um, keep in mind that in order for that to work, there needs to be a hydrogen on that carbon for the radical to abstract, causing the radical to form in the first place. So, yeah, just no tertiary carbons over there. And you should be good.